What's up everybody, Nick or Dwyer back for the 10th inning with another episode of This Day in Sports History. In yesterday's episode, we saw France claim their second World Cup title in 2018 after defeating Croatia 4-2. We do have one World Cup final to talk about today, we also have some Wimbledon championships to talk about today, and we have some Tour de France to get into. So if you all enjoy this video, leave a like on it. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit that subscribe button, let's get to it. This day in sports history. We start off today in 1883 at Wimbledon. On the men's side, William Renshaw wins his third straight Wimbledon title after defeating his twin brother Ernest 2-6, 6-3, 6-3, 4-6, 6-3 to claim his third of seven majors. Five years later in 1888 on the men's side, Ernest Renshaw this time would get the victory, his only major of his career, defeating defending champion Herbert Lawford, 6-3, 7-5, Move up all the way to 1938 at the PGA Championship, Paul Runyon would defeat Sam Snead 8-7 in the largest victory margin ever in the event's match play format, to win his second of two majors. Moved to Major League Baseball in 1941, Joe DiMaggio would end up going 3-4, for four, hitting in his 56th straight game. This would be the final game of his streak. But during DiMaggio's great streak, DiMaggio, 91 hits, 16 doubles, 4 triples, 15 home runs, 55 RBIs, for a batting average of 408. Nine years later in 1950, we had the FIFA World Cup final, which saw Uruguay going up against Brazil, and Uruguay would get the 2-1 victory to claim their second title. Albino Friasa would start off the scoring in the 47th minute for Brazil, but Uruguay would strike back with a Juan Schiaffino goal in the 66th minute tying it up, then Alcides Guidia getting the game-winning goal in the 79th minute giving Uruguay the 2-1 lead and their second World Cup title. Five years later, in Formula 1 in 1955, Juan Manuel Fangio would clinch his third Formula 1 championship by finishing second to Sterling Moss in the British Grand Prix, which actually wasn't even the last race of the Formula 1 championship. There was still one more to go, but he had such a big lead in points that the last race wasn't going to matter, he did get his championship. Move up six years to 1961, and Ralph Boston would set a then long jump record of 27 feet 2 inches or 8.28 meters. He would hold this record for just about one year. Also in 1961, at the 48th edition of the Tour de France, Jacques Antoitil would score his second Tour victory and his first of four straight victories. Six years later, in 1967, at the LPGA Championship, Kathy Whitworth, with a score of 8 under, would win one stroke ahead of runner-up Shirley Engelhorn to win her third of six majors. Moved to Major League Baseball in 1987, Don Mattingly would hit his fourth Grand Slam of the season and he would tie the American League record of hitting homers in six straight games. This would be on his way to hitting in a record eight straight games. One year later, in 1988, Jackie joyner Kersey would set the women's heptathlete record with 7,215 points. Later that same year, she would go on to break her record again. That's one record I think will stand for a long time, may never be broken. One year later, in 1989, at the U.S. Women's Open, Betsy Kane, with a score of 6 under, would win her first of two consecutive titles, four starts ahead of runner-up Nancy Lopez. This would also be her second of six majors in her career. Stay at the U.S. Women's Open in 1995, Anika Sorenstam, with a score of 2 under, would win her first of 10 LPGA major titles, one stroke ahead of runner-up Meg Mallon. Also in 1995, at the Senior Players' Championship, J.C. Sneed, with a score of 16 under, would win his only career major, after a playoff with Jack Nicholas in which he would birdie the first hole for the victory. Stay at the Senior Players Championship in 2000, Raymond Floyd with a score of 15 under would win his fourth and final Champion Store Major, one stroke ahead of Larry Nelson and Dana Quigley. Six years later in 2006 at the Senior Players Championship, Bobby Watkins with a score of 14 under would win his only career major, one stroke ahead of runner-up Jim Thorpe. We end off today with three separate events in 2017. First at the Senior Players Championship, Scott McCarron with a score of 18 under wins his only career major, one stroke ahead of Brant Jobe and Bernard Langer. Then at the US Open on the women's side, Sun Hyun Park with a score of 11 under would win two shorts ahead of runner-up 
Hai Jin Choi to win her first of two majors. Finally, at Wimbledon on the men's side, Roger Federer would defeat Marin Cilic 6-3, 6-1, 6-4 to win his record 8th Wimbledon men's title and his 19th of 20 overall majors. So there you have it. That's what happened on this day in sports history. If I left anything out, I do apologize. If I mispronounce any names, I also apologize. But I will see everybody tomorrow for Nick O'Dwyer and the 10th inning. Be good, everybody. See ya.